Hello everybody, welcome back to Yannis Kick Tips. I always say, your fondant coating will be as good as your final ganache masking. When you finish your naked cake, you use your ganache softly and then just cover everywhere nicely, but it is not really completely straight. And then you think that I keep it soft and I put my fondant on it, I will push with the fondant leveler, I get the right result. What will happen, like the cake will be not geometrical, it will be just all of sort of like soft and but sort of bulging out and then the corners is not going to be sort of like a nice and straight and then it's not going to be look right look professional so if you have to make a good cake you must have a kind of firm uh, texture of the ganache that you have resistance when you're pushing the fondant that will be nice and level and if your cake is not nicely uh, mask with the ganache and you put it in the in the fridge it will be more even that all those bumps and and, and all those uh, 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 holes that will be more harder much firmer much more much more prominent that you cannot fix it after with fondant at all so that means today I'm going to show you a method fix all those problems entirely bring the cake ready to coat with fondant condition without any effort So let me explain you what I have on this table to achieve that uh, result. I have here double cake board. It will be quite heavy cake, that's why I use double. And I have a piece of plastic here. You can uh, use a PVC sheet or acetate sheet or uh, as long as that, like even that cellophane sheet you can use as long as it's nice and straight and level and clean and shiny, right? So uh, I will put my ring over here, 25 centimeter, and I'm gonna place also a PVC uh, sheet that which is exactly 10 centimeter cut it goes around twice so twice because I want to have a nice and firm walls on the side all right then I have here two sponge 50 millimeter approximately 5 centimeter high to fill that 10 centimeter height in this ring here and I have a bit of like a quite soft uh, ganache that I like to have it like really nice and soft that I can even use the spoon and then just smear it and then just go filling up the corners that which is gaps in there and I have here melted compound chocolate this is could be about between 45 to 60 degrees uh, I'm using rice cooker to keep the chocolate warm I have another video for that please watch that before uh, continue or you maybe you have watched already before all right now let's start working out I have this ring here, PVC, and uh, I will just place this one here and open up in that ring, sort of, till it's fit to the side. So, it is already there. Make sure that there's nothing inside and nice and clean. Then, clean brush, make sure that the bristles is not coming out, and the chocolate is ready, and finally, you mix a little bit more before you start using it. Okay, now, dip, do not drip around, go inside and then start brushing chocolate. And then you always go back again for a fresh and soft chocolate. You have to be nice and generous at this stage. You see, I'm covering chocolate here till the, the background color not visible anymore. You see, I'm working with chocolate and I'm not dripping anything around. Just waiting till the chocolate is drip in finish and I carry on the other side. You should be able to do that a thousand times, no drop of chocolate here. And then I make sure that these corners are nice filled, there's no gap. Okay. Go back here. So the, the base is ready. And after that, I start doing the same thing 
on the side. And just grab the chocolate, go all the way up and finishing the, the distance and then go back to the chocolate, grab some more. You know, when we sandwich in cakes, we do a number of steps. We put the sponge together, we put some ganache in between, till the naked cake is finished. After that, there's more steps to continue. First of all, we use crumb coat. That crumb coat stick all the crumb bits and pieces around. And after that, uh, we put uh, uh, first ganache coating, roughly, and then uh, we put it in the fridge. And then we coat a second time to make the ganache masking, final masking, perfectly right, right? So after that, we roll the fondant and then coat the cake with the over a soft ganache or we just apply a little bit more moisture like jam or syrup or water or whatever uh, to make this ganache sticky enough to, to, hold the, to hold the fondant. So with this method, I'm actually all those, all those steps, maybe four or five times the steps, all in once. So you will see that it's such a practical method and the result is always 100%. Almost there. So I start from one spot and then go around twice. So when I finish one turn, actually the starting point will start already getting a little bit of set. So second chocolate is not going to scrape everything off. It will be creating a second coat, which is thick enough to hold everything in place. All right. So now what we have to do, I'm going to get this one in the fridge and then make a little bit firmer. You see that it's already touching, but I cannot touch here. I'm just gonna gain some time, put it in the fridge for just uh, one or two minutes and come back to you, uh, show you that how to put these sponges inside. Okay, chocolate is already set. There's a little bit of cracking out here. You can also fix that just a little touch like this, no problem at all, all right? That caused a problem when you keep too long in the fridge. It, and if it's not evenly done, it will be just like wobbling a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. So what we do now, first thing, we put ganache inside, soft ganache inside, everywhere. So when we put the sponge inside, it will stick ganache with the sponge and chocolate together. All right. So, and then you have to be also generous, not sort of like a little bit, you know, make sure that the sponge can squeeze inside and ever, there will be no air pockets left. Same thing on the wall. Just the back of a spoon will do a good job. Okay. Okay. What you see over here, I'm putting at least sort of like five millimeter thickness of ganache inside to have that really good connection. Because as you realize that we're not masking a cake, so we have to put enough ganache that as much as what we also use for masking, right? Okay. A little bit here. Are we everywhere? Yes, we are. Okay, good. Now, this is enough for in the middle later. What I do, I just put here, get my sponge position on the side here nicely okay and very careful so not damaging the chocolate on the side and then let it go inside carefully just like this all right so uh, at the moment what I have here the sponge is gone in there and then actually everywhere touch with ganache all right and then it may happen that the ganache on the side, what I have here, it's been pushed down with the first sponge. Let me just top it up a little bit here. A little bit top it up here. Also, here's the ganache inside. Yummy. Now we have a chance that when we put the second uh, sponge inside, 
matrix sponge insert. If it's too high, I will just trim it off with the knife. That's it. In the meantime, if you want to put some orange nuts or anything in between, so you can also put it on, okay? Now, second thing, this one, I'm gonna use hand. Just go inside here, nicely. If it's break, it doesn't matter at all because you don't realize nothing at all. Well, it fits exact, just perfect, right? So, you can also just uh, touch up a little bit on this corner here. Get a little bit of ganache here. Fill up that corners. So, we are done. Just go like this around. Now, I'm going to put this in the fridge and get everything nice and set. Then I will, when I bring back to the actual board where I'm going to serve this cake, I'm going to show you how I remove everything. I just took it out from the fridge. So let's do this one now. Put this over here. This is the uh, board that I like to present. I'll also put a piece of cellophane sheet over here so the cake doesn't touch to the, uh, the board. All right. So I feel that uh, that is the right, right spot. I can feel it in my fingers. That is left and right. So that is a little bit left here. Let me just check from this direction. So that is okay. And then here also okay. That's it. We can take it out now. All right, good. So, turn upside down. Here, remove that slowly. No problem. Come this off. Just touch a little bit so the ring can come out. You may need a bit of knife cut just a touch. find the joining point. Where is it? Here. That is all good. This cake now is ready to coat with fondant. So uh, I'm not going to do that because um, uh, I have another video that you can watch that how to coat the cakes with fondant. So how you do that, this is already dry and then the fondant is dry. It is not going to be stick properly right away. So what you have to do, you have to apply either a bit of syrup or a bit of jam, doesn't matter. You can do that. But most of the time what I use, I just use water. So because water is not really sticks very strongly, so when you put the fondant on it, you can just remove that fondant uh, according to the foldings and you can just off it and put it back again, off it, put it back again, it will release that water. Uh, water is released the fondant quite easily and you stick that again when you push it back. So there's a perfect corner here uh, out of chocolate and that chocolate also gives a kind of uh, resistance like a cross coat that fondant will work a lot better on this and then you can also use two uh, fondant leveler to get this corner uh, very nicely. So that is actually uh, is not a bad idea to do that because you're not doing all those steps like a masking and crown coat and then final coating and crust coat and all those things. All done it at once and then you're ready to coat perfectly with fondant. So that was my tip of this week. Please check nsbake.com. Uh, there will be more videos, longer videos and more learning in there. So you know the deal. If you like what you have seen today, please uh, click on that uh, like, share and subscribe. Uh, God bless you all and thank you so much again. Till to the next tutorial. Bye for now.